What I was explaining was on last time, do you, if you guys remember, what we did is we, we kind of undo the division first, right? Then we did the multiplication. Um, and then we did the power. When you are condensing, so a lot of times you guys will see a problem like this. First of all, if I give you a simple logarithm and it has multiple multiplication or division, I'll say expand it to, or to rewrite it using multiple logarithms. On a problem like this, I already have multiple logarithms, so I might ask you to rewrite using one single logarithm, or a lot of times what we call the process of condensing. All right? So the first thing when condensing is I want to be able to take all of my terms, and actually, I'm just going to leave that at x squared off. Let's not worry about it. Um, if I was leaving this, I would have, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the powers first. So now I have log base 3 of x to the fourth plus 1 half log base 3, oh shoot, plus log base 3 of x minus 2 to the 1 half plus log base 3 of x. Does everybody understand what I did? I took all the numbers that are in front and I threw them back up to their powers. Does everybody understand that? Okay. Now I understand when I add two logarithms, I can rewrite that as a single logarithm. Well, if I'm adding three different logarithms, I can rewrite that as a single logarithm with the product of each of my terms. So therefore, as rewriting this as a single logarithm, I'll have log base 3 of x to the fourth, x minus 2 to the 1 half, and x. Now we can see if we can combine these. So what this is is this is the logarithm base 3 of all of that. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simplify this a little bit. We know that anything raised, now some of you might say, well, why don't we do anything with this minus x minus 2? Because that's contained in an expression, so we can't apply anything like that. And plus, you're not taking a logarithm of that, so it's not like you can rewrite it as a product. It's only when you're taking the log of your expression. OK. Um, so anyways, I can multiply x times x to the fourth, right? Yeah? yeah. So let's simplify that to x to the fifth. And then x minus 2 to the 1 half, we can rewrite as the square root of x minus 2. Done and done. Any preguntas? No. Yes? Yes, I do want you. Uh, no, you don't have to put the parentheses. Just make sure a lot of times that your base is a subscript, though. A lot of times students get sloppy and they put the 3 up there. The 3 is a subscript. It's like an exponent, you know, but it's down below. It's subscript. So it's nice and small. Oh, and there's a Yes. 